Thor Schrock with Schrock Innovations. Uh, they're growing. That's right. The company has a new acquisition and some important information for those new customers. From Schrock Innovations, Thor Schrock. Good morning, Thor. Hi, How are you Thor? doing? Well, I'm pretty excited about this mortgage thing. The only question yeah. I have is, am I a you or a them? Hmm. No, you're neither. No, am I neither? neither. I, so you, I can't. You, you can win this contest. I can win? Yeah, you can win. But then I'm, I'm a them. Oh, I'm not I'm a you. employee. Oh, my gosh. not part of mutual. Wow. Yeah, so my, good. my head, I just had a Linda Blair moment. <laughs> my head was spinning like, what is going on? Uh, <laughs> so what are we talking about today? You've done yeah. a new acquisition. Explain what's going on. Yeah, Schrock Innovations has officially acquired ARN Networks. Uh, ARN Networks has been a computer repair shop. They've done web design and hosting and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff in Omaha. They've been around for longer than we have, almost 20 years. Um, and so we'd been involved with ARN for the past about three years mm -hmm. in, in well, one facet or another. But, uh, but we've officially acquired them. We took, uh, it's a good news story for everybody. All the employees from ARN are coming over and becoming Schrock employees. Awesome. So no one's losing a job, nothing like yes. that. It's not one of these like, we're going to lay off 5,000 uh -huh. people, you know, no, nothing like that. Uh, so all the employees are coming over. Uh, ARN was a discount computer repair center, and they offered a lot of the same products that Schrock Innovations actually offered. Um, and so what's really cool is we're going to all those customers of ARN that had those products that were used to, uh, you know, the a ARN's level of service was a little lower because it was a discount computer mm -hmm. store. Well, they're all moving into Schrock, and so we, we're not going to create like a separate tier. So they're all going to get like a service upgrade. Aww. So we're taking over all the warranties uh -huh. and all the responsibilities that's for all the work awesome. that's been done. So it's good news for the customers as opposed to just being out in the cold. They've got somewhere to go when they need their computer uh -huh. help. Uh -huh. That's good. huge because yeah. you know that you see it all the time where it goes the other way and people yeah. are left holding the bag and it's a frustrating experience for customers. Well, yeah, then you guys send out your investigative reporters and they're <laughs> this just in. You know, that yeah, kind we're of sending thing. mics on the case. Yeah. Um, but is there anything else for those customers, those new folks, or for your existing customers, some relevant information about what this acquisition could mean? Well, yeah, I mean, well, honestly, it's great news for Schrock too because, like I said, ARN has a, a wonderful reputation in the Omaha community. Mm -hmm. so, so having those customers come into Schrock Innovations, you know, literally it nearly doubles our customer base. I mean, it, it's huge for us. So we're very excited about it. They should be excited about it. We're going to give them some great service. You know, not that ARN was giving them bad service, but we do a lot of things that ARN didn't do. Uh -huh. So ARN customers, for example, now will have the benefit of the Schrock desk mm -hmm. where we can remote in and help them with their problems and, and deal with warranties and stuff. So you great. don't have to truck it in every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we do on sites. So we will come to your house or your place of business and actually work on your computers. Mm -hmm. We do free pickup and free drop off. So if you're, you know, if you're disabled or you just don't really know where all the wires go when you want to plug mm -hmm. it all back in, we'll come out and unhook it, pick it up, take it back to the shop, bring it back out and hook it up again. And these are services that Schrock customers have experienced for years. It's the stuff that makes you a best of Omaha winner exactly. time and again. Yeah, so that's good news for ARN customers. If yes. you're an ARN customer mm -hmm. out there, uh, nothing but benefits for them, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's a win all the way around. Um, there's Good. something else. When I was flying this weekend, you know, they're making these announcements. If you have a certain phone and the battery's got an issue, you got to power it off. Yeah. But there's an issue with iPhones circulating. Yes. It's not like it's a factory issue. It's just something that's living well, online. It's a gimmick that's online. Well, it right? might be a factory issue. You know, so as you know, the iPhone 7, they took the headphone jack out, right? Mm -hmm. um, so if you go to facebook.com slash Innovations. We have a step-by-step -step video that originated in the UK that will show you how you can put the headphone jack back in your iPhone. Okay. Can you walk us through that? Oh, absolutely. First, okay, tell us how this works. You take, your, you take your iPhone 7 and you turn it, you know, where the headphone jack used to be, mm -hmm. and you, you have to get a clamp, right? You have a $900 phone. Clamp it down. Buy a $30 clamp, okay, clamp man? Clamp it. You put it in the clamp and you just tighten it down. Oh, yeah. Grind it down. And you take the drill right there and you drill a hole. Now the screen is going to start flickering when you start drilling. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's completely Don't worry normal. about it, right? Completely normal. <laughs> Once you've drilled the hole in there, you take it out of the clamp and voila. Uh -huh. Now, unfortunately, there have been some people that have experienced technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. There have been it, problems doing this. This is sarcasm, guys. Or, Don't do this to your here. But <laughs> please, here's, if you can't tell, his tongue is pressed firmly in cheek. Th but people are actually doing, really this? doing it. So people Please are watching don't. this video and they're they're drilling and into they're the really bottom of their iPhones because they want a headphone. They jack. want their headphone jack, so they're doing it right. And then they're posting comments. They're posting comments like, "After I drilled the headphone jack, oh. my phone doesn't seem to be working. What's wrong oh, with that?" Us. And so you know, this is a UK video, right? Mm -hmm. So then people are getting snarky in the comments too. Oh. They're responding the back. English. Well, obviously you missed the step. Or after you've drilled the hole in your phone, you must clean the phone to remove any of the drilling shavings from the hole. Right. So soak your phone in water. soapy water oh for 18 God. seconds. And when you take it out, give it a good shake to get all the water out of there before you try to turn it on. Uh -huh. Why soapy water? 
pure water doesn't conduct electricity. You need a catalyst in water to fry electronics. <laughs> mm. Soap does that. Um, That's why you don't drop the hair dryer in the bathtub. Like, so Thor posts <laughs> all kinds of good info on Facebook, and then his website things is truckinations.com. to do. Yes. This is true. <laughs> With, and even like security breaches, we just had this Yahoo thing. Oh, I mean, there's terrible. just so much going on. Thor is great as a local resource so that we're all, if you're investing in technology, you know how to deal with it. And then when things go wrong, he's there for you. You've got to read the comments on that YouTube video. Yeah, the video is funny enough because you're like, people yeah. actually are stupid right. to do this. But when you read the comments, there's people actually asking for help after they mm. do it because I can't get it to work. My right. screen doesn't work. Gosh. Well, don't Thor. do that. Thor, <laughs> good to see you. Uh, Howie Mandel could.